What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Jones 34, and today I'll be reviewing the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And I know this is a very controversial topic, but uh, I'm hoping that both communities get catered to in the future, because not everybody likes the open world zombies, they prefer the round based zombies, which is understandable. I mean, who wouldn't like to unlock some of the Easter eggs, some of the doors that lead to some secrets, and also the pack a bunch? I mean, where the hell is it? <laughs> so, it's a lot of questions when I'm playing round based zombies for the first time. And I think that mode should be making a comeback in the future. Hopefully in the future updates they do add it back so, so we can have the two different options. Just like we did back in Call of Duty Cold War where they had the open world available and the round based one also. So I'm hoping both communities can be catered to in the future so we can all have fun together. You know, I don't just want to have only the open world but also the round based zombies. So please people, do not lynch me because my opinion right now is going to be like, Wow, this guy only likes the open world. He must suck, right? <laughs> so please do not lynch me, guys. I actually do believe round based zombies should, make, should be making a comeback. So anyways, moving on to my review. I want to give this mode an 8 out of 10. It's very fun, to be honest. It's very fun. I reached it all the way down to the red zone. And it gets pretty crazy down in the center part of the map. Every single zombie is rushing at you. There's a lot of mini bosses and big bosses coming at you. Like, it's just crazy, bro. Like, oh my god. Do not ever go in there without a pack-a-punch weapon because you're not going to be able to kill anybody. And make sure you have enough perks because in the background right now, in the gameplay, I survived with only the Juggernaut. So, I can't say it's easy, but damn, dude, I was surprised I survived with one perk available. The other perk is just like when I die and I start a new session, I can go back to the same point and recover my stuff. So, basically, that's all it does. Which is still good too, but the only one helpful here is the Juggernaut, to be honest. So I'm surprised I survived in the center part of the map. And you'll see it right now in the background gameplay. So um, anyways, I do want to add something that uh, that could help out the mode though. Because I know this is a very basic open world mode with some missions that are available for you. And the missions only repeat like every 7th mission or something like that. Just like around 7 missions to 8 missions. You know, you got to do some escorts. You got to take this, this truck here or there. You got to eliminate the target, unlock the safe. I believe that's about it. No, there's like a five missions in total. So in order for, for the mail to the mode to spice up a little bit, I think they should add world events or like live events that will make the entire lobby go into one point to unlock something crazy. Could be a skin, could be an attachment, could be like something special for zombies mode only, like a special weapon or something that everybody can earn and start off with a new session with, you know make live events just like the mmos that would be a great idea for this mode man like it will make everybody just go into that one spot all like like what 32 players in the, in the map go into one spot and just kill this crazy as a boss which would be crazy like i would love i would love that to be honest so i'm hoping in the future do add stuff like that because that will spice up the mode a lot more because right now it's pretty basic i mean yeah go around drive around with a with a pickup truck or with a truck with a turret on you know go drive around and stuff and uh, do some missions, get some money. There's also some some, uh, some strongholds, um, some zombie strongholds. There's some mercenary strongholds. Talking about the mercenaries, they're a pain in the ass, bro. These guys have freaking laser beams, bro. <laughs> like, they can kill you super fast. It gets, it gets too crazy when a bunch of them get together, you know? Especially the guy with the riot shield and some guys running around with a knife. Like, mercenaries are the hardest enemies to defeat here in this mode. And also some of the big bosses. But I think mercenaries, when they get out together... Yeah, good luck defeating them, man. So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, oh, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background right now because I'm about to run away. I'm about to upload this one like by its own because it's crazy, dude. I was about to die in the final minutes of the, of the match. And talking about minutes, why the hell did they add a time limit? And it's only one hour. I believe if they make it two hours, it will be worth the time. But man, an hour? Shh, that's pretty tight. Like, I don't think that's enough time to explore the map, enough time to like, reach the final zone and kill some zombies like crazy you know i think they should increase it to two hours or something i think that would be great so uh so yeah that's my biggest negative about this mode i think the time is a little bit too less i think two hours should be fine you know um nothing else really <laughs> so anyways um you can also unlock some special camels from this mode and uh also do some of the daily challenges which allows you to unlock some of those weapons or attachments that are locked behind the challenges so it really helps out also the multiplayer community um also you can level up some of the pistols pretty much easily through here instead of killing some of the sweats in multiplayer because you know how multiplayer is man multiplayer right now is the sweat fest it's literally like a pool of sweat you don't want to get drenched into so 
instead of killing real enemies in multiplayer with pistols, you can just use it in zombies and level it up here instead. You know, because I know some people need some of the attachments, like the, some of the silencers and, stuff and all. So, you know, this will be the best way to do it. So, anyways. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Because I want to give this, this mode an 8 out of 10. There's a lot of room for improvement. And hopefully they do bring in the live world events. Because that will bring the entire lobby together for this one big reward. Which will be pretty awesome to see. So, anyways. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what's up. Tell me your opinion about this mode. Is it good? Is it bad? You know, let me know. So that is it. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one.